Hi there, so while I make some noodles, I'm going to go on a little bit of a tangent. Hopefully you can hear me okay, if not, So basically, I'm a little bit annoyed at Facebook and Google right now. Surprise, surprise, right? Because everybody else is, you know, completely the same. As you can tell from my hair, I'm gone beyond that point of sanity and into the dark, dark realm of insanity. Why? Well, because Facebook and Google are hell-bent on forcing you to use your real name, which to me is a completely redundantly stupid thing to do. Anybody can put any kind of name on there, and if it doesn't look genuine to their system, then, or whatever the case may be, then it's not going to be accepted, as happened to Ashton Kutcher, because some, for some reason, I don't know, he put in his name, he had to use a different name, because Ashton Kutcher was not recognized as a real name. Same if you have a name similar to, say, like, Bill Rose. It may not recognise Rose as a legitimate last name, so you're kind of screwed. Now this all started when I was trying to post up some achievements or goals or whatever the case from an application on my iPad to Google. And it kept going to my default Google page as opposed to my Pandorific Gamer page, which is my YouTube page, of course. And that's where I want to put all of my achievements and stuff. I want to put all that YouTube stuff on there. I don't even use my real name account side of Google. I just don't find a use for it. But in the case of Facebook, I don't have any other alternative but to use my real name because you can't use aliases and nicknames and such as your name, which kind of sucks. I don't know how some people get away with it, but hey, I suppose if it looks legitimate enough, then hey, good. If not, whatever. Which, again, is redundant. It's, this is why it's such a stupid system. It's, it's pointless. You can get around, with, around it so easily. I know they say it's for security and all that shit, but you're not a freaking police force and you're not a fucking nanny squad. It's no point. Unless it's for something important like billing and stuff, which I'm sure, which I know Facebook has their real, you know, money, business stuff happening. So I get it. You know, you gotta use your real name because there's some legitimate business happening and so they can get in a lot of trouble and... I don't know who you are. Now I did try converting my profile to a page, but then when I tried posting up achievements from things, it, nothing came up. It overall was a complete piece of shit. So the deal is... So this is basically how it rolls, yo. Okay. I'm not good against science. I'm kind of stuck with this useless account that I don't like. So that pisses me off. Now I don't know if there's some way to be able to change that and appeal because I did try and appeal but they're like You don't need to do this, so you go fuck it dead. And I'm like, okay, well fuck you too Google. So as I said, basically if you want to find me, so far, Facebook, you can find me through my real name and through Twitter, well I've just mentioned it, you can find me through the alias that I use on YouTube, and on YouTube you can find me by Pandorific Gamer. On Google Plus you can find me either through Pandorific Gamer or through my real name. Do you see how complicated this is, Google and Facebook? If you had have made it simple and just allowed us to use just one fucking name and use our alias or nicknames as a default, that would save you a lot of trouble. Because you used to be able to do that many moons ago, but some Einstein up in headquarters with nothing better to do decided to change that and fuck it up for everyone. Now I've heard the defenses, I've heard the different reasons why and I agree with a lot of reasons and I can understand yeah that's fair enough yeah yeah but there are a lot of other reasons that I just shake my head at and think do you really think that that's justifiable? It's different if you're making purchases that is different you gotta use your real name for that sort of stuff or you're doing something more official you're working with money and that sort of thing that's fair enough, which Facebook does and Google does. If you don't want to be recognized by your name, and you want to be recognized as your alias, you should have the right to do that. Like, it used to be that way. It used to be fine. I don't know what happened, but hey, I guess there's reasons for it. Thanks, Google. On the plus side, though, they do provide a service. So, really, this is sort of nitpicky kind of stuff, because it really isn't a major problem. I'm over it. I'm over it. I've been up all night and this morning I was bashing my head against the wall, figuratively speaking, although damn near close actually to literally, although actually close to literally doing it. And then Big Fish Games decided that they don't want to display my 
username they want to display my real name too so you can find me I guess on the, that on Big Fish Games if you ever anybody out there uses Big Fish Games my username is Pandarific Gamer with a capital P and a capital G and it is there in my profile as my ID or whatever so don't know what's going on there I think it's because it's linked to my Facebook and so it's changed that but I don't know doesn't matter doesn't matter doesn't matter doesn't matter <sighs> so yeah that's technology for you and people like to complicate things more than it already is maybe I'm just getting old and <laughs>